This is a CNC pendant and I show you how it is used and how you can hook it up with an Arduino. At its bottom it has a large encoder wheel. This encoder wheel has 100 detents which means that it has 100 clicks within a full turn. This allows a very precise control. During the rotation the wheel emits different pulses which can be interpreted by a microcontroller and translated into actions that are proportional to the number of pulses like moving a motor, dimming a light and so on. Above the wheel there are two rotary switches. On the left side there is a switch with seven different positions OFF, X, Y, Z, 4, 5 and 6. They are used to tell the machine or the microcontroller which axis should be controlled when the wheel is turned. On the right side there is a multiplier selector switch that has 1 times, 10 times and 100 times positions. It is good to know that these two switches share a common ground line and this ground line is connected to the global ground rail of the wall circuitry through the enable switch which is a push button on the side of the controller. When the enable switch is pressed the common ground rail of the rotary switches gets connected to the global ground and their status can be read by the microcontroller. Finally at the top of the controller there is an emergency switch. It has a latching mechanism so once it is pressed the user must twist it to release it again. To demonstrate the functions of the controller I assembled a very simple circuit with an Arduino and a large LCD display. As you can see when I rotate the switches without the enable button pressed, nothing happens on the display. Once I press the enable button, the microcontroller can read the status of both switches and set the multiplier and the selected axis accordingly. The microcontroller responds quickly and smoothly to all kinds of movements. It detects the pulses perfectly and changes the values on the display accordingly. For more information, check the description and watch the corresponding long format video.